Hey everyone, Zephyr here with IGM for another game under construction. Today we've got Guns and Robots, which is a multiplayer game currently in beta. And it's basically just, as you'd expect, a multiplayer deathmatch shooter to be. You start off creating a robot, which we will do because my current robot... Oh hey, he's out of battle now, good. That's the robot that I built last time. When you very first start up the game, they take you through a tutorial, shows you all the little bits and pieces you have to do. Very simple. It also takes a little while, but I'm not sure if you can avoid it. But you start off, we're just going to go with the modules, because we have to go in the workbench first. I forgot this last time too. You start with a base. What should we go with? Light, light, and light. All three of the chass chassis you start with are light. Alright, well, let's go with this one. And then you need a battery. Heavy duty, why not? And that, that's, that's our chassis module, they call it. And then we're going to go with a... I can't rotate it though, I wish I could. Oh, you can throw it away though. Well, not throw it away, you pull it out of the, the mixture there. Oh well, put that in. Toss a battery in. As you can see in the bottom left there, they, they do have stats. Select it and it's got durability, weight, energy regeneration, and the batteries have energy capacity, and you know, other stuff have, you know, different stats of their own. Save that module. Got our guns, which is always the fun part. Take the gun mechanism, throw something onto it, go with the flintlock. And bam, you have a gun. And now we'll go with the revolver. And slingshot? Sure, why not? And that's it. You just have to put those three parts together and then go back to the garage. And assemble them. Which one did I just make? They're exactly the same, so it doesn't matter in the slightest. All of these pieces you can buy more of. So you never have to worry about, well, doing something wrong. Slingshot revolver. And then heads. And like I said, if you want, all of the pieces that you start with are free. To, to buy more of and to use as you want. It takes a little while to actually build up enough money to buy any of the good stuff. And, well, you can break your stuff. Although... All of these, all of the pieces that are free, are also free to repair. So, not really a big deal. And you always have to remember to load your ammo up. Go into battle without any ammo and you're gonna be hurting. I guess it auto-buys too, if it's free at least. So yes, this is our current robot. Let's jump into a battle and I'll show you how it goes from there. These do take a little while to get into, because, well, it's a free-to-play indie game in beta. Not the most populated thing in the world. But, we'll see how long it takes. Not too bad, actually. That was less than a minute, which is, well, actually really good. And, for the most part, the players are still low level. One of the last games I jumped into, guy was like level 25, and he just flattened all of us. But this time, it looks like the highest is 10, and there's a couple lower, lower than that. Ooh, we're on pirate ships. The first one I did was, the other match that I played rather was essentially like the Wild West, um, well, the Wild West town. All right, let's go find some enemies. Oh, wow, this base is slow as hell. <laughs> and yeah, I'm going to total, totally get slaughtered with a base like this. I'm just firing away and trying to dodge. That's right, shoot at me. Somebody else is shooting at you in the background, so why not? Oop, getting stuck. Up the stairs, run away! <laughs> I am so gonna lose. I don't think he's really hitting me much, which is kind of disturbing, actually. He should be slaughtering me. Down the hole. <laughs> Crap, got stuck. Get away. 
And this is the extent of a match. Oh crap, there's two of us down here. Oh, my base is dead. See, you can actually target body parts. If you can, you can break the wheels and they won't be able to move, you can break the body and they die instantly. Or you can break their head and, well, they lose accuracy, basically. And I am down for the count. <laughs> and now we just sit here and watch. As that guy strafes the hell out of him. Oh god, there's three of them. I think my time, I think my team is losing. <laughs> and they keep pushing my base around. See, it's, it's a very chaotic... No. Multiplayer deathmatch game. Oh, there we go. I was like, I need to be able to... So, okay, right-clicking. So he's the only one left, and they broke his base, which means he's done. This match is just about over. The matches are timed, too. You can see at the top there, apparently. I can't see his life, but I can see the enemies. Oh, they blew off one of his arms. That's one of the interesting things in this game, is the, the disassembly process concept. And bam! So, okay, Samus beat that crap out of everyone. <laughs> what can you do? Alright, do we go back to the menu? Yes, here we go. Wait, loading level. Eh, probably means the menu screen. Alright, and we're back in the garage. Battle results. Bad. <laughs> 88 experience, 173 credits. You don't get much for losing, especially for short battles like that. I'm not sure if you get more, depending on how long you last, or maybe, you know, you get if you get more if you win, obviously, I imagine. But it probably just takes lots of time. You have to enjoy the gameplay, which is one of the things with pretty much all shooters. If you don't enjoy the gameplay, you're not going to enjoy the game. But yeah, that is Guns vs. Robots. Uh, debating... Cancel. Okay. It's nice that they tell you if you're fully repaired or not. What's not repaired on him? Ah, there we go. Auto repair. If you turn on auto repair when you, every time you come back to the garage after a match, it, well, auto repairs everything. Which is, is good for right now when everything is, is free. But later on, when stuff actually costs money, not, not maybe the best idea all the time. You'll end up burning off all your money and not really... Well, not really doing something you want to do. There's also this testing thing, which I will show you out. It's the best way to put, a, to put your robot together and then go see how it works. See, even, even this guy's not very quick. But this is the guy that I initially put together, who definitely does move a little faster. And see, targeting range, shooting range rather, where you can practice and get used to your stuff. You can see the slingshot is pretty accurate, made more so by the fact that it's on the, I think, pistol ba or gun base. And then I put the the shotgun, essentially, on the, the other base, which makes it even less accurate. But fairly good fire rate and powerful. Now, both of these guns use ammo, which they give you the little, chart, the little ammo boost right over here. But there are also weapons, later on, I presume, that use energy, which is what this is. Restores your energy. And which is why you need the good batteries, because they give you that energy that you would be using up. It's interesting, and it'll probably take some getting used to, but those are the basics. It's a pretty, pretty accurate game, at least. It's not really loose, not the spray and prepare type. Everything works about how you would expect. Actually, that means I guess you can make it spray and pray, or you can make it accurate, whichever you want. Water's a bad thing. Oh, no, it's not. All right, it just slows you down a lot. That's right, there's terrain adjustments that you carve. <laughs> you are better or worse with, depending on what base you took. But yes, that is Guns and Robots. Try it out for yourself if you like. It's out there to try. And I will catch you all next time. Thank you for joining me. See you later.